Hello, my ADHD kitties. We're traveling back in time to the days when you had an hour for lunch. What were you doing in math? Fractions! This video was exclusively created for my peeps with math accommodations. However, they only work if you know how to use the calculator. Here we go. Okay, so here we're starting out. And you're probably saying, boy, I can do that in my head. 1 eighth plus 5 eighths. Take the 1 plus the 5, and that makes a 6. Keep the bottom the same. So the answer is 6 eighths. Well, sorry, Charlie. 6 eighths is not simplified. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn a little trick on the calculator to be able to make this work. So I've got two calculators that I'm going to show you how to do. And the first one is Texas Instruments. And what you're going to do is you're going to press the math key and the enter key and the enter key. So you're saying to yourself, what do I want to do that for? Well, if you don't, you can also use a Casio calculator. And this one's a little bit tougher for me because it requires drawing. Okay, so you're going to make S and this funky double arrow and then D. So if you use either one of those, you get 6 eighths. Hmm... No, I don't think so. There's got to be something that comes along with it. So, what we're going to do is go back to the initial question. So, we have 1 eighth plus 5 eighths. And another way of writing that is using division. So, 1 divided by 8 plus 5 divided by 8. Now, this seems like a lot, and to be honest, you don't really need the uh, parentheses right now. It's just a good habit to get into. So, 1 divided by 8 plus 5 divided by 8 is going to give you point. Seven five. Hmm. So you're going to go up to either math enter enter or S double arrow Z, and that is going to turn into three fours. Now you're going to say, that's okay, I already knew that. And that is probably true. But let's move on to the next one and see what happens. All right, here we are to the next problem. 7 45ths plus 8 45ths equals no problem. 7 plus 8 is 15. Keep the bottom the same. Well, sorry guys. Once again, this is not simplified. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, let's see, 7 divided by 45 plus, turning this into division, 8 divided by 45. Grab your calculator. What does it equal? Three zero point three 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 three, and it just keeps going. So now, what I want you to tell you is, don't clear your calculator. So you have either, if you've got a Texas Instrument, you've got Math Enter Enter. So now might be a good time 
for you to start thinking note taking notes now you can either take it on this one or the next one but you need to make sure that you remember how to press the keys in what order or else I don't know you might forget later on so math enter enter and Casio is S double arrow D so if you do either one of these you're going to end up with one-third Now you might be saying to yourself, yeah, I already knew that. Well, we're still practicing, so hang in there. Soon you're not gonna be able to do it in your head. Let's see. So here we go on our last problem with the same denominator or like denominators. So what you wanna do also is to double check and make sure that you see that there's a minus sign there. So 19 minus 14 is 5, and the denominator stays the same. And of course, you can guess by now that the uh, fraction can be simplified. So what you're going to do is, mm, what are you going to do? You're going to turn it into a division sign. Don't forget the minus. And just to be safe, you're going to practice doing your parentheses now. Okay, so here we go. I'm still going to write it out. So Texas Instruments is math, enter, Enter. So write it down. If you haven't written it down already, you want to be careful. And the Casio is the S double arrow D. So if you choose one of those, you're going to find out that 0.25 is also one fourth. And so this is where the party ends. I wanted to make sure that you understood the process because the next one is going to be the hardest one. Lucky for you, it's also the last one. So if you'll notice this time, the denominators are not the same. In other words, the numbers on the bottom are different. So now is about the time when you're going to say, maybe it is more convenient to do the process than we've been doing all this time, turning the fractions into division. So I'm going to give you some time for you to write this down and then solve for the decimal. Make sure you don't clear it. Okay, so check out the screen. 5 divided by 9 plus 3 divided by 8 is 0 0.9305555. So again, that reminder, do not clear out the number and that way you don't get a rounding error. So this is going to be my last time because of course this is our last problem. So if you didn't already write it down, now would be the time to do it. So if you've got a Texas Instrument calculator, it is math, enter, enter. And I said this a bunch of times, so you might think that you're going to remember it, but it's a good idea 
to write it down. If you have a Casio calculator, it is S double arrow D. So you're wanting to turn this into a fraction. So you're going to enter this and then you're going to come up with that. 67 over 72. So one last time, 5 ninths plus 3 eighths equals 67 over 72. And that's it. So we made it through part one of a two-step journey in the land of fractions. If it doesn't make sense, just hang in there. We have another video to come and we're just going to work problems. Learning is a process. And remember, Edie loves math, even if you don't. Ciao.